Cape Town is a city of slaves, both on the blood and the bones of the people who were enslaved here and killed here, the raped here, people like OK. Cape Town, enjoy the party. Put on your dancing shoes. Cape Town, welcome you. Hero from one of the most beautiful cities in the world, a city surrounded by natural beauty, a city with a lot of popular touristic attraction. My name is Aston and welcome to another exclusive holiday and wildlife episode. Cape Town is a home to a diverse group of people from different backgrounds who contribute to making Cape Town a wonderful place to visit, live and explore. with me as I discover Book Up Neighborhood. Book Up is a neighborhood with rich history, tradition, and an incredible Cape Malay cuisine that is located in between Cape Town city center and beneath Signal Hill. Book Up is named after the Afrikaans word meaning above the Cape. I'm good, how are you? Welcome, welcome to Book Up. Thank you welcome so much. To Book Up. Thank you, thank you. Must I sing you a quick song? Definitely. Welcome to Cape Town. Enjoy the party. Put on your dancing shoes. Cape Town, welcome you. Welcome thank to you. Book Up. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. Thank you for welcoming thank me. You, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's your name, sir? I'm Ishmael. Ishmael. Is this your business? Yeah, this is my business. I did start okay, here now a year ago, September, the time I was so uh, 60 years old. The Book Up neighborhood was first developed in the 1760s by Dutch colonialist Jan de Waal, who built a lot of small rental houses to provide accommodation for the city's Cape Malay slaves. The Cape Malay people originated from Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia, and they were brought in Cape by the Dutch as slaves towards the end of 17th century. Some of them were convicts or slaves in their home countries, but others were political prisoners from wealthy influential background, and almost most of these people practiced Islam. Are you from here? You grew up here? You were born yes, here? I'm mm. born here. My mother is born here. Her mother mm. is born here. Okay. So which one? One generation to the other generation. Mm. How yeah. many generations, more or less? So it's about from my great-grandmother okay. to my grandmother. Mm. And from my grandmother, it goes to my mother. And from my mother, it just goes on my son. Every one of us are born I here. I see. As you can see, mm. I was born in Rose Street around the corner. Okay. Family member is still living there. It's okay. 38 the Rose Street. Yeah. Well, I'm staying now up there in Book, uh, further up in Astana Street, as you can see. Mm. In about this, this used to be my playground. Your playground here. Yeah. I look like this. Yeah, this, okay. is, this used to be my playground. Are you are you also like Muslim? Yes, I'm Muslim. Mm, so what's what's the tradition like like the Muslim tradition? Okay. How how did it all start here? In, in, uh, in as Buka? you can see, like you say, to Anguru. Yeah. The first mosque was in 1700. That's also a story that's just in Dorp Street. Dorp Street, yeah. Yeah, that, that. This one here is the first ever mosque to be established here in the Republic of South Africa. This mosque holds a very unique story and a very rich tradition and culture about Muslims who lived here in the book up. So our 
our Muslim community is very close to each other mm. because when you hear the pray, you won't see children playing around. Mm. There's no alcohol. You can't just come here and go no. put a beer in your hand. No alcohol is allowed here. No in the alcohol book. is allowed here. Wow. But still they do it. Wow. Mm. They hide it away. As you can see, this this used to be all Muslim. Now they yeah. rent out these houses. And what they do, they rent it out, they make business. I see, I see. Is so, that good so for the community? No, it's benefit for them, see how. It's not good for the culture, uh, uh, the it's community? Not, it's not because they can't tell you a story. Mm. They can't tell you because they just come here for business. Mm. And the story is only told by the people who were born, raised, yeah. and grew up here in yeah. Buka. People like you. Yeah, the, the, the same with the cobble road, I got it here. Mm. As you can see, this is the cover road, as you can see there. Yeah. This is also a story. The story mm. is when the storm comes, then the water goes, it doesn't go straight okay, to see. the drain. It takes its time, it goes around. It does used to be for the horses mm. to grip if the, if the horses go up or down. It's a grip for them. So, okay. so there is a lot of, of roads. According to sources, the rental terms of Yan Diva was the walls must be kept white and when slavery was abolished and kept Malay slaves could purchase their homes, most of them choose to paint their homes with bright colors as an expression of their newfound freedom. While I was exploring the book up and um, looking at the beautiful views of this wonderful city, we have the waterfront to that side, we have the city center this side, I met Wahid, a local resident to book up, who has a very understanding history when it comes to book up, the existence of some of the buildings that he mentioned, like uh, the Rockwell, the history about the waterfront over there, and how people were marginalized and segregated because of the arrest. It is a very dark story to hear, but also very inspiring story to tell the children and the generations to come. So Buka or Cape Town is a city of slaves. Yeah. Yes. And uh, Mabura white people don't know that. <laughs> European people don't know that. Yeah. It is a city right. built on the blood and the bones of the people who were enslaved here and killed here mm. and raped here. Sure. So all people like, okay, here we call them Malau or mm. yeah. colored people, Colour people, people yeah. of mixed descent. Mm. They are all a result from either the miscegenation, the mixing yeah. of Europeans and, 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 and black people, and they were raped. They were raped. And if you came out and you were come here like this one, you will see he's nice and white. Yeah. Not Shlope, what do you say? Nisit Kosa, Umzungu, Umzulu. If he's white, yeah. then you became a white man. Yes. <laughs> and, and if you were like him, dark, then you were black. Yeah. And you, they looked at your hair. Your There's hair. a nice plaque in Cape Town. I can explain to you where to go look, mm. where the advertisements are put up, where the magistrate says, we've got a boy, he's 12 years old. If you don't come and fetch him and nobody claims him, we're going to give him to somebody where mm. he can work. If he was white, they would educate him and he'd become a master. And if he was black, he'd become a slave. Glass building. Yeah. yeah. And if you take your hand down, Mm. The building which is pink and red and white yeah. is mm. called the Rockwell. Yeah. Terrible name for South Africa. We in Africa, we in Bukap, it's not an Afrikaner name, it's not a Isikosa name, which one, which one? it's not even a Malay one. name. Glass one. Below the glass Below one, the glass down in front of us. Yes. Yes. It's a Rockwell term. It's sure. called the Rockwell, very yeah. American British. Yeah. Mm. When they were built, when they were digging in the Rockwell, right, this soft stone like this, they found lots of bones. Sure. Lots of bones, human bones. So they investigated. Then they went to the university and they got archaeologists, you know, archaeology yeah. people who dig yes, up old yes, things yes, yes, to yes. study the past. Yeah. And they started in investigating this thing and that site there. So 
that is the old city mm. right that was the main city over here if you had come here 200 years ago this would have been outside of the city that was a burial ground sure. for slaves mm. for poor people for paupers for beggars for people and those days if you were a nobody you were a slave you were a pauper mm. they buried you they didn't put a stone they didn't write your name nothing so when they excavated there they discovered that this was a burial ground unmarked sure. now mm. you know for all human beings eh? yeah. we, mm. we we respect the grave site yes, yes. it's a stone mm. recording it of this is a burial ground tanabaru tanabaru yeah we we coordinate off so as they were excavating there they found these bones and they stopped it was still good it, it was it was very early after 94 so we were free people there was lots of consideration and respect for human rights and they stopped that building for four years mm. now i'm not a businessman but if you know a little bit about money you know it cost lots of a money lot of millions money. to stand still mm. and then they came to an agreement and they built a little monument on this side of the road yeah, which is good to, to go to. It's yeah. called yeah. the Ossuary. Mm. So on Somerset Road, yeah. there's a building there. You'll recognize it because there's a coffee shop there called Truth. It's also a good name, Truth. Mm. And you go inside and it's the Ossuary. An Ossuary is, I think, from, from Italian. It's a foreign word where you store the remains of of the dead mm. like bones etc etc the catacombs in, yeah, in yes. paris everybody knows right so and there's a beautiful history of what they discovered how they discovered it etc and you can go in to the ossuary the door is very low for respect to make sure that when you go in yeah. mm. you, bow, you bow and there's some remains there wow. of the indigenous people and the people that lived here wow. when they when they excavated for the waterfront yeah they found bones right with metal lead in the and they investigated and they thought did these people practice like you know gold teeth yeah mm. and, no if you were a runaway slave they did terrible things to you yeah. including not only slaves they did it to other people as well they mm. were terrible those days but mm. if they caught you for whatever so they would pour hot lead into your ears <laughs> uh, lead uh, yeah and down sure. your throat so they discovered all of that here so that's a history we don't talk about we mm. don't celebrate mm. we don't yeah. teach our people about yes. it mm. and but it's a city built on blood and bone Thank you for coming with us on this nice episode of the Book Up Neighborhood Exploration. Please like and share our video, subscribe and hit the notification button for more videos. Thank you so much. Until then, see you next time. Shop shop.